All right, so in this video, I'm going to be finding the area under the curve uh, for the function cosine x times cosine sine x between 0 and pi over 2. So I'm going to find the antiderivative of this function first. So in order to find the antiderivative of this function, I need to set something equal to u. And u, in this case, is going to be equal to sine x. So du by dx is equal to cosine x. Why did I choose sine x as my u? Because that's the thing, uh, that's the part of the function that's inside something else. So typically that's what I would choose uh, as u. That would be my best choice. So du is going to be equal to cosine x dx. So cosine x dx can be replaced with du. And then this would just be cosine u du. But now I have to change my bounds of integration because these bounds of integration are the are the bounds of integration when we have x as our variable. So these are the x bounds of integration. We need to find it when u is our variable, so u bounds of integration. So I would just plug in pi over 2 into this equation for x and find u. So that's just u equals sine pi over 2. This is just equal to... 1. So 1 would be my upper bound when we have u as our variable. And then the other one is u equals sine of 0, which of course is just 0. So that's our lower bound of integration when u is our variable. So now we can find the antiderivative quite easily because that's just going to be uh, equal to sine of u evaluated at 1 and 0. So this is going to be equal to sine 1 minus sine 0. Sine 0 is just 0, we know that. So sine 1 minus 0 is equal to sine 1. Sine 1 is going to give us some decimals, so we can always leave it like this. This is our answer.